Hi, my name is Robert Mack, and today we're going to be talking about, do you even want a realtor? Hey, thanks for tuning back in. So if you're a buyer and you're watching this video, the question for you today is, do you even want a realtor? Now, the reality is, is if you're looking to buy a property, uh, you're either going to be doing all the work on your own and searching for a property on your own and then ultimately end up working with a listing agent, which is still a realtor, or you're going to do some research and find an agent that can represent you as a buyer and you're still going to have to work with a realtor. 99% of homes that sell are sold through realtors. What I've learned over the years is if a buyer could buy a home without a realtor, they probably would. They just don't want to deal with it. Most consumers probably don't even like realtors. They just know that they have to work with us to get the property. So the video today is to let you know that there are so many great realtors out there. And you know, when you're buying a home, it's a very big decision. There's a lot of emotions involved. There's a lot of financial commitments involved. And you want to work with somebody who understands the process that can help educate you. You want to work with somebody who can, you know, help navigate you through the process to make sure you understand exactly what you're getting into. You want to work with a, a realtor that has a great relationship with lenders out there that can help you understand the financial aspect of it all. There's so much that goes into it. And at the end of the day, whether you work with a buyer's agent or you work directly with a listing agent, you're going to have to work with a realtor for the most part. So the message today and the advice I can share with you today is, you know, if you're looking to buy a property, I've always believed that working with a buyer's agent who's going to sit down with you, understand what you want to buy, understand what you're looking for, and put together a strategy to help you accomplish your goals, and, and really somebody who's going to understand you and what you're trying to accomplish, is probably the most efficient way to find and buy a home. Because the alternative is, you're gonna spend a lot of time and effort looking for properties online, calling different agents to get information, scheduling your own tours, going to open houses, and then what happens is, is you've called what, 10, 15, 20 different agents, now guess what? They're all calling you wondering when you wanna buy, if you wanna to commit to them, and you're getting all these different phone calls from all these different agents, you're not even gonna be able to keep up. And the downside to that is, you're never really working with somebody who's fighting for you. If you're calling the listing agent, it's important for you to understand that that listing agent was hired by the seller to help the seller get the most amount of money for that property. So when you work with the listing agent, you're actually working with the agent that's hired by the seller on the other side. And on top of that, if you don't have your own agent representing you, no one that you're working with is really gonna understand who you are, what you're trying to accomplish, what your timelines are, it's a very shallow relationship. So when I say, do you even want a realtor, the intention of this video is to kind of get your mind thinking about all the different possibilities moving forward. And again, if you're new to this, or maybe even if you're not new to buying a home, but you haven't purchased one in five or 10 years, a lot has changed. And it's always important to have an advocate on your side that you know, you trust, and you can feel comfortable with because buying a home is really a team effort. You gotta have a strong realtor, great buyers, a strong, a strong lender in place, and you work together as a team to find the perfect property. And if you don't have that synergy, it's gonna make the process overwhelming, it's gonna make it inefficient, it's just not gonna be a good experience. Now, whether you find a realtor through a, a coworker or a friend or family referral, whether you find a, a realtor online, you know, you know, it's important to maybe pick two or three or four realtors and meet with them and see what they have to offer and see how a relationship with them may benefit you in the long run and then make your decision based on the meetings that you have and the information they share with you. So that's the message today. I hope you found value in it. If you did and you found this on social media, give me a like, a thumbs up, a question, a comment, a share. I'd love that. If you have any specific questions you ever want to talk to me about, you can reach out to me. My contact information is on the screen. Uh, and if you have any video ideas you want me to share or expand on in the future, let me know. Until then, happy selling.